All right, so uh, my name is August Lures, and I'm here on Offstage Pass. Gonna read a poem for you called Yawn. Uh, it's kind of rough today. I'm on the struggle bus. Got like a bunch of allergies going on. I'm like a little sunburned, so we're gonna see how it goes. Um, but luckily, I have my Mighty Morphin Power Rangers book. It's the first book I ever owned. It's where I keep all my poetry. Yawn. I'm tired of trying to take naps, but not falling asleep until a minute before my alarm goes off. I'm tired of trying to take naps out on the grass, and squirrels thinking they can drop their nuts expectantly on my forehead, trees ejaculating their floating semen all over my prone body, the leaves mocking me with their conifernication as they rustle, rustle, rustle. I'm tired of not knowing what to do with my arms when spooning. I'm tired of everyone assuming I want to be the big spoon. I'm tired of empty bed dawns, rat nod polyurethane plastered in a film of pale blue folds that are only touched in pink wrinkles. I'm tired of being like a hermit up on a mountain, sitting at a well with two cups, ready to drink the sweet water but waiting for someone to join him. I'm tired of leaving my duets in the dance studio, sexual partners being like horcruxes, being an open doorway no one walks through, women only like me when they're drunk and wrist soup. I'm tired of my phone autocorrecting passion to poison. I'm tired of hookup culture. It's phenomenal that we live in a society where casual sexual expression is accepted and encouraged, but how the fuck am I supposed to find somebody who loves me? I'm tired of having to change my, my Facebook profile picture just because gay marriage still isn't legal. I'm so tired of the Westboro Baptist Church. I'm tired of capitalist influences telling me that people I love are objects to be consumed, of being called sensitive like it's an insult, of people associating feminine with weak, of the outdated, unhealthy constructs of masculinity and the gender binary, of mascara stains on white sweatshirts, damp spots on not wide enough chests. I'm really fucking tired of rape. But I'm more tired of hearing people say that they're tired of hearing about rape. Fuck you! Go choke on your dumbbells, you fucking malignant barnacles! I'm tired of pain being the only path to meaning, of hope just being the toxin on the tip of the dagger of experience, of fucking pictures. You really think your DSLR can press your memories into concrete? I'm tired of America's grief illiteracy, since when does mourning mean status update eulogies and plastic bracelet memorials? I'm tired of selfies, hashtags, tweets, likes, upvotes, and every goddamn motherfucking status update that talks about shit that doesn't even fucking matter, not even a little bit when you think about how we're all just a speck of ash on a speck of dust in a disc of dirt floating around a yarn ball of nothing in someone's blissful nightmare. I'm tired of people not realizing how impermanent everything is. I'm tired of not having someone to be impermanent with. I'm tired of chemo and radiation resistant, of three to six weeks, of half crossed off bucket lists of pneumonia and orange blood, of people asking if I found God, please. If I were looking for God, I would just go back to the last place I left him. I'm tired of death and love being the only two things I believe in because I'm not so sure about the latter. I'm tired of sad being the new happy. I'm tired of the past and the future. Everything I want to, wish I, dream of, was once, can't be, work on, write down, forget to. I'm tired of eating ramen. I'm tired of hearing that people want to fuck me instead of hearing that people want to love me. I'm tired of feeling unlovable. I'm tired of telling myself the same virulent shit over and 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 you worthless fucking failure. No one's ever gonna love you. Do you realize how many people you've hurt? How selfish you are? There's no point to you. Go make out with the grill of a freeway semi-truck, you mediocre flesh bag. I'm tired of saying things to myself that I would never dare tell someone that I loved. My hand is tired from writing. My mind is tired from thinking. My body is tired from heaving. My eyes are tired from waiting and wanting. My feet are tired from running away from my shadow and running towards the silhouette of the person that I believe I should be. My gut is tired from eating empty dreams. I'm tired of being scared. I'm tired of being tired. I'm tired of sons having to tell their mothers, yes, I'm suicidal, yes, I cut. Of best friends putting shotguns in their mouths. I'm tired of Ambien and Bud Light cocktails, people filled with so much regret that they can't even go back home, alcoholic dads and bipolar moms, pregnancy scares that are never shared, kids numbing with drugs instead of talking to friends, selfish lovers and those they've left behind. I'm tired of everybody hurting and hiding. We're all so fucked up and nobody wants to admit it. If we all just came together and said, I'm in pain, then we could all say, we're in pain. And in that solidarity, in that togetherness, we could find peace and healing. Not that our problems would magically be fixed, but that we would have a family to bleed with, to cry with, to say, fuck you, God, to say, thank you, God, to live with, to die with. 
We live in a world of sleepwalkers and insomniacs where yawns are just as frequent as laughs and we don't need Tempur-Pedic and Lunesta when we have self-criticism and social norms. We all just need a worldwide cuddle puddle because love is caffeine, with or without the crash, and if we don't come together and wake the fuck up, we'll never truly live. That's what I'm trying to do. I know y'all are tired of hearing me say I'm tired, but this is my first step. These are my first words. I'm tired, but I know y'all are too. I'm also hurting. I'm also in pain. I'm also lonely. So please, get a cup of coffee, coffee with me, because now's not the time for sleep.